So we lost uh, H. H. Hat here. He finally died from thirst. His hunger strike has come to an end. In his squad, the geared meteors has been annihilated. I'm not sure who leads that now. I guess he was the last one in it. Maybe I took the other people out of his squad when he got injured. Well, I guess we'll have to go claim his body. Where did he die at? That's where he was. He died right there, just laying down. You put up the good fight, though. And that's what matters. Flame of Dark, you've adopted another kitten. The cat just had a whole bunch of them. We set them up for slaughter, and you chose to keep one. Okay, well, Emo Boy X, you didn't want to be in the military, and you're not going to be in the military. Uh, you've been demoted and kicked out, discharged today, I guess you could say. Mostly, though, because you've got a neck and a brain injury. It's made you quite unhappy to have suffered such an injury. You do have one war dog to keep you company from your time and service, as well as a little bit of defensive skill. We'll take a look at you. You've made some friends. Lure Shape is your lover, and you have a pet, your war dog. Your deity is a god here, is associated with chaos and war. You harbor darkness and chaos inside you. Maybe that's why you didn't want to stay in the military, you didn't want to let it overwhelm you. So you decide to get out by getting yourself maimed. And there you go, you go back to the civilian life. I'm not sure what skills you have. Uh, for now you'll probably just be a stone hauler as you regain your joy and try to regain some strength they'll rehabilitate you, don't worry why well, hey, look over there, it's 23rd obsidian 137 and we've got soil over there, I already see some trees growing I believe, let's get a closer look at that a muddy young cave oak Yep. So we'll let those plants grow up. Heck, maybe by this time next year we'll have trees. We can start having beds. I'm also building a huge long tunnel from here that connects directly over here. Because this is heavily trafficked. Way more than it should be. That was originally made just for going to the farms. It wasn't supposed to be a high traffic zone. So we're going to get all those people to stop going through there by giving them a a highway right here. We'll get it all dumped out and smoothed. And they'll get used to walking directly from there to over here. Also got another person in bed. No, nope, still you, Han Solo. Get over it. And who do we have here? Mac Edward, you're not happy. You're very unpleased to be healed and back in service. Well, get over it. Someone else needed your bed. You lazy bum. You're good enough to go fight thinking about sending you in the first wave through the mil through the mines. You should be happy that we took care of you for so long. We'll let the military stay there. There's no point in babying them then. I have to believe that our military entrance over there actually is almost done. It should be mostly smoothed out. They've got food over there. Waiting for some ammunition as well as getting all these out of here. Let's put a few armor racks as well. And that'll be just a small little barracks, I guess. About a few cabinets, too. Just a small little storage locker area. And we'll let them get that set up. Soon enough there'll be a military here. Who should we station over here, actually? I think Mac Edwards, you guys are going to help go secure the mine first. So we'll get you over there. Hey, a new year. Spring has arrived. Let's check Mac Edwards here. He's not about ready to snap, is he? 
His relationships, his lover is Dr. Alex. You got a pet. Oh, uh, you're sad because Triple H died. Well, you'll be fine. He's getting a proper burial soon over in our catacombs here. You're getting all the coffins set up. And then he'll have a tomb and everyone can be happy. No more no more tears. Everybody's liking it. Might make it a little bit wider. Still not sure yet. We'll let them all get adjusted to it, to their new pathing. I think I showed it too earlier, but if not, just one more time here. We've got the pipe drained out. We've got the bridge open down, open up, open over to it. So they'll also start dumping stones there again since it's close. You won't have to walk so far everywhere. We've got plenty of trees growing up in there. Even if that's all that grows up this year and no more do, that'll be fine. There's several trees in there, enough for plenty of beds at least, for, so we can expand our barracks. Got 143 animals it says, most of them have to be in here. The only thing left outside is cats and war dogs now. So it's 10th granite, 138. Don't really have a whole lot going on right now. Got a few locations set up and I'm also setting up traffic areas. I'm starting to turn into a traffic traffic coordinator for the fort right now. Just getting it all up and running. Putting a wall up here. We'll get all that set up, and this will just be a low traffic area to the farms and to some of the sand here. I'm going to start making glass. I've got a whole bunch of bags being made that we can throw that all in. As well as all of our smelters set up to start making stuff. What are we making over here? I think I'm making more pick hammers for our miners, because we're going to need each of our military crew to have a civilian miner go with them. Uh, that way whenever our, say, because, well, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Whenever we send our military over here, of course, we're going to station these guys here. And we'll have a military miner in there with them. We'll pull the lever, seal them off, and then the miner can get to work. The military will go over first, and then the miner can hopefully go quickly and tunnel out, remove the stairs and stuff like that. They'll have to have a civilian with them as they go along. That's kind of the only down downside to it. I'm not sure who will who will let be the miners just yet. Don't have anybody trained in it except our original two miners that started off, and they're not going to go on the on the journey just yet. I need their legendary mining skill to stick around the base. Just unsuspend all these. I hope that no one gets trapped. We'll leave that last one open. Suspended until the very end. Water's almost completely gone from the tunnel there. I'm happy to see a decent amount of trees. I think more might be sprouting up. Not seeing too much change in the water in here. Unfortunately. I guess I'll go pull the lever and open that up here in a moment so that it can start draining out as well. That might be why it's not going anywhere. So it's 20 second granite. Just doing another little quick check up here. Well, it's 12th slate, 138 mid-spring, and we got a new wave of migrants here. I'll do the same thing that we've done to the previous one that's shown up and I, it got tore in half. I'll give them all a bunch of uh, mason skills. That way they can try to get into the airlock themselves, I guess. I'm not going to be opening it up and sending anyone else down there. Try and dig it out anyways. Let's see here there, there's a lot of them. 22. I'll give them all masonry there. Try to get them to come over here and they can tear down the wall. 
And if they can get in there, they can claim the rocks down there and finish building our bridge. Finish. They can finish the airlock. That's their quest now that they've arrived at our vault. If they can finish the airlock for us, they might make it in alive. 